What's up, Internet Coach Dennis here. Join me as I try to grow my arms by one inch in one session. This is part of the Coach and Cotter series. There's Cotter. We're going to grow our arms by the end of the year for real. But today, let's see what we can do in one session. We're starting out with close grip bench press. I'm going to be showcasing this workout at two times speed and not even all the reps because today was a long, gnarly, arduous session. Mega, mega arm pump. What do y'all think? Can you get a one inch pump on the arms in one session? Man, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever been measuring pump sessions last, uh, well, just a couple days ago. I did a pump session on the quads and I was able to achieve a one inch pump on the legs. But I don't know, man. The arms aren't as big as the legs. What's possible? Let's check it out. So the session today, we're building up to. Um, Heavy close grip bench press, couple drop sets. Oh, I got to work in obviously some one arm pull ups. It only makes sense. That was my closest one of the day, although it was jumping. Valiant effort right there. Um, actually, pretty good effort right there, too. Obviously, I'm kipping, but what I lack right now is the control at the shoulder, the core, really just trying to connect everything. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not. Um, and then, so yeah, let's, let's move on to some. Easy bar curls. Easy bar curls are hands down my favorite bicep exercise. I like to build up to a heavy set uh, failure and then add in a couple drop sets. Today we had, I don't know, 30, 60, maybe 75, 85 pounds. I don't really know what the bar weighs. Did hit failure. Okay, now here I'm actually working on that scapular retraction. If I can get that control, um, we're going to be doing good. I did work, I did splice those in throughout the entire workout. Uh, we're about three quarters of the way of the workout. I just want to see how far I've gotten. Okay, so we went, okay, so from uh, about a half inch there, half inch. Um, let's keep hitting it. So I love these easy bar skull crushers with the stretch. Definitely um, probably my favorite tricep exercise. I just love the easy bar for the arms, for the biceps, for the triceps. Just such a, you can just put such good effort into it and get a nice stretch. Um Honestly, I was starting to run out of ideas, and I didn't think I was quite there yet, so I just figured, let's get a pump. What can we do? So um, we hit some, um, what are these called again? I'm, I'm talking too fast. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 dumbbell kickbacks, that's what they're called, tricep kickbacks, and um, some uh, dips here. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. <laughs> okay, okay, so I didn't quite think I was going to make it, so we went with the occlusion method. We're going to go ahead and wrap um, some rubber bands above the biceps. Now, you don't want to do this too tightly. You don't want to cut off arterial blood flow, and you don't want to do this for too long. We're not trying to create a tourniquet here and lose a limb, but holy crap, the pump was insane. I did not tighten the right bicep up as much as I should, so I measured the left 17 inches. What? That's an inch and a quarter on the biceps. That is insane. I don't have much of an asymmetry between the two arms, so we can say that that's a pretty fair assessment. Holy cow. Dude, my left bicep stayed pumped for quite a while, but I still felt like I had more, so I went ahead and just hit some partial range uh, chin-ups into some push-ups. I did this for a couple sets, and my arms actually feel great. Um, I can't believe what's possible. I'm going to try this occlusion method more often. Uh, I would advise you if you're going to try this, do some Google searches on how to properly do this safely. There's a lot of evidence this can help with hypertrophy, but you don't want to hurt yourself. All right, y'all. Peace.